Welcome to Lagomera. Lagomera is another of the Canary Islands, 25 miles from Tenerife. The bus will pick you up from your hotel between 7.30am and 8.30am and make its way down to Los Cristianas Port where the ferry leaves for Lagomera. You are able to get off the bus here and enjoy the 45 minute ferry ride and the views of the two islands. When you reach Lagomera you get back on the bus and the tour of this stunning island begins. This island is much greener than Tenerife and has a lot more ravines and deep gorges. The first stop off is at Rocky Aganda, which stands at 1050 meters. From here you can see stunning views either side of the island as the cliffs fall away to the left and right of the road. Then you are taken through the winding roads into the unique laurel forest, which is absolutely stunning. The guide explains about the history and the protection of the forest. This leads you to the next stop, a clearance in the forest where you are able to enjoy some of the local produce from the bar. It can be a little colder here, so be sure to bring something warmer to wear. Enclosed shoes are recommended, as some of the terrains can be a bit rough. After your refreshment, it is back on the bus to the visitor centre, where you have some time to look around and learn about the natural flora of this precious island. There is also a small museum in which you find out about the past cultures and the way of life of the locals. The views are breathtaking from this point. You have now built up an appetite and the next stop en route is Las Rosas for a traditional three-course lunch. This is then followed by an entertaining display of the whistling language of La Gomera. After lunch, there are a couple more stop-offs. You pass the small city of Agulo, and the beach of Hermigua, which is very picturesque. Also, you will make a stop at the small place where you can buy some souvenirs and products exclusively from La Gomera. There is a garden next to the shop, where you can see samples of fruits and vegetables grown on this island. The guide will explain how the bananas are grown here and taken care of. The tour then finishes off in the capital, San Sebastian. Here there are a few points of interest that you must see. The church where Christopher Columbus and his sailors made their final prayers before crossing the Atlantic. The house that he was said to live in and the tower that is still standing, erected in the era that Christopher Columbus was in La Gomera. Once you have enjoyed an hour in the capital, you get back on the ferry and journey back to Tenerife. The guide makes sure that you get back to your hotel on the bus. From La Gomera, my name is Angie, your number one attraction reporter.